Yesterday, Funcom released a forum post announcing that Update 2.5 had been pushed to the test live client for, of course, testing purposes. Update 2.5 is titled as the quality of life and bug fixing update, so what can we expect Funcom to deliver with this update? This is all a work in progress so nothing here is exactly final, but it's usually a pretty accurate reflection of what we can expect. So let's get right into it. Firstly, before the patch notes themselves, they explain the focus of this update, that being, of course, quality of life changes and bug fixing some of the most reported issues, touting this as one of the most extensive balance patches to date, which I'm sure plenty of you are very excited to hear. Firstly, this is something I've seen a lot of people mention, we are finally getting small animal pens. These are designed to be a bit easier to place and don't need a massive amount of space, with the trade-off that it can only hold one animal at a time. I rarely ever include taming pens in my builds because they take up such a ridiculous amount of space, so I'm sure this new item provides a trade-off that loads of people will be happy to take up, especially the solo players and the small clans out there. Secondly, we can now display our sheathed weapons. This seems to include main hand and off hand slots, so whether you're dual wielding axes, lugging around a huge maul, or carrying a carefully crafted sword and shield, you can now display these to all your friends and your foes. This option is customizable, so if you don't like it, you can always change it, which is always a nice feature to have. Next up, we have balance changes and overhauls. In this update, many different weapons and items have been rebalanced or entirely overhauled, including great axes, katanas and claws. This even includes some new animations. Hopefully the katanas get a bit more of a fluidity and flair to them. They are undeniably cool weapons to wield, but I'd really like their combat style to look vastly different from the other weapons. So that covers the three main highlights of this patch, but there are also tons, and I mean tons of fixes, changes and optimizations. You can now control how much damage thralls do to NPCs, blacklist feats through your INI file, disable building during time restricted PvP with an optional whitelist, there are also expansions to frostsmithing, plenty of weapon and potion adjustments, full reworks of certain weapon classes, some very nice quality of life fixes, and a huge amount of fixes for bugs, terrain, environment, animations, audio and UI. As I said previously, nothing is 100% certain in these test live patch notes, but generally it seems that things that go to test live do make it into the live game. I'd say maybe the only ones that might get adjusted are the weapon reworks and the weapon display feature. They are still working on the latter so there might be some issues with that here and there, but I think it will make it into this patch. Overall, update 2.5 is full of some nice little changes and tons of bug fixes, including memory and performance optimizations on all platforms, so that should be good for us PC players, but even better for the console players, especially over on Xbox, where they've had to suffer through numerous game-breaking issues throughout the SIPTAR drought. I'm expecting this update to land maybe in a few weeks on the live servers. I could see Funcom maybe fiddling around with the numbers on the rebalances for the weapon classes that have been changed quite a bit, namely the Grey Axes, Katanas and Claws, but overall I think most of this will stick, especially the bug fixes. That is about all for this update, thank you for watching. It's nice to see Funcom pushing updates out and addressing some of the biggest bugs in the game. I was slightly worried that we'd be waiting a long time for update 2.5 and they'd kind of waste the little bit of momentum they'd built up, but it seems that isn't the case. Feel free to read through the full patch notes in the pinned comment below, they go into the bug fixes and the optimizations in much more detail so you can see if your most hated bug has been fixed, which hopefully it has. Also don't forget to let me know what you think of this update in the comments below. As always, you'll find all the links to my Twitch, Discord, Twitter, Patreon and NordVPN discounts in the description below, along with credit for the music used in this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, I put out at least two videos a week, so there's always plenty of content to come. If you have any suggestions for future builds, I would love to hear them in the comments below. As always, a massive thanks to our patrons Sammy, Sadialot, Randar, Connor, Blue Ivy, Velma, Torn, and Eagle Rose. Again, thank you very much for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.